the American Association of Individual Investors welcomes you to the Stock Investor Pro video tutorial series. Today, we will explain how you can use and interpret percentile rank data when analyzing companies. Financial data is of little use unless investors are able to place it in some context. One way to do this is through time series analysis. A time series is a sequence of numerical data points in successive order, usually occurring in uniform time intervals. In other words, a time series is simply a sequence of numbers collected at regular intervals over a period of time. For example, looking at a company's annual sales for several years in a row is a form of time series analysis. Beyond examining the financial trends of individual companies, we can also compare companies to their industry or sector peers or a broader universe of companies. In Stock Investor Pro, we perform this analysis using percentile ranking data as well as sector and industry median data. Percentile rank fields in Stock Investor Pro can be used to see how a particular company stacks up to the competition, in this case, the entire stock universe. Percentile ranks allow you to compare a company's results in a certain area against that of the entire universe of companies. For a given field in Stock Investor, all of the valid, non-null values are divided into percentiles, 0 to 100. For example, the percentile rankings for price-earnings ratios are based only on those companies that have a value for current price and have a reported positive trailing 12-month earnings per share. If either of these data points are missing, or if trailing earnings are negative, the company will have a null or NA PE ratio as well as a null or NA percentile rank value. Overall, companies with null or NA values for a given field will also have a null or NA value for the respective percentile field rank. For all percentile rank fields, the higher the percentile, the higher the underlying value. However, the higher the percentile doesn't necessarily mean the stock rates better from an investment standpoint for the data field under consideration. So it is important to keep that in mind when screening using percentile ranks and evaluating percentile rank data for individual companies. For example, Telco Cuba had the lowest price earnings ratio value in the entire stock investor universe as of June 24, 2016 at 0 0.1. This translated into a price earnings percent rank value of zero meaning the rest of the database had higher current P.E. ratios than Telco Cuba. On the other end of the spectrum, Hawaiian Telecom had the highest P.E. ratio in the Stock Investor database as of June 24th at 832. This put the company in the 100th percentile of the entire database, meaning that no companies had a higher P.E. at that point in time. Not all fields in Stock Investor Pro have a corresponding percentile rank. To find out whether a data point has a percentile rank, go to the field definitions in the Help system by clicking on the Help button and selecting Contents and Index. Fields are listed in alphabetical order or by program data category. Here we see the field definition for relative strength. Each field definition in the Help system includes its definition, its data table name, data category, field type, whether it has a percentile rank value, and whether industry or sector median data is available for that field. In the case of relative strength figures in Stock Investor, percent rank figures are available. Many of the data fields found on the various Stock Notebook tabs in Stock Investor Pro have corresponding percentile rank data displayed there. For example, Let's look at relative strength data as of June 24, 2016 for PepsiCo, the soft drink and snack food giant. The share statistics subtab of the overview tab shows PepsiCo's relative strength index and rank values. The relative strength index field indicates a stock's performance versus that of a market index. For Stock Investor Pro's relative strength calculations, the iShares S&P 500 ETF, ticker symbol IVV, is used as the market. 
Therefore, the relative strength index figures reflect the percentage of performance above or below that of the ETF's performance over the same time period. PepsiCo's 11.02% relative strength index indicates that the stock has outperformed the S&P 500 ETF by 11.02% over the last 52 weeks. This relative strength index places PepsiCo in the 80th percentile for the entire database of 6,853 companies as of June 24, 2016. This also means that the company's 52-week relative strength is greater than that of all but 20% of the companies in the stock investor database. With price momentum, investors usually prefer a higher relative strength percentage rank. However, depending on the data field we're looking at, as well as the type of investor, we may seek out stocks in lower percentiles. For example, a value investor may look for companies with price multiples, such as the price earnings ratio, that rank lower in the database. Looking at the multiples tab for Apple Incorporated as of June 24, 2016, the company had a current price earnings ratio of 10.4 which placed it in the 16th percentile of the entire database. In other words, 84% of the companies in the database had a current price earnings ratio that is greater than Apple as of June 24th. Remember that the price earnings ratio is a measure of the market's expectations of the company's future prospects. While a higher price earnings ratio means greater expectations, some investors, particularly value investors, see high PEs as indicated overvalued companies that may carry higher downside risk. If these high expectations are not met, there is a strong likelihood that the price will decline. On the flip side, there are plenty of companies with low price earnings ratios that are on the verge of financial collapse, thus warranting the low valuation. Value investors try to distinguish between short-term mispricing of solid companies and value traps, those stocks that appear to be cheap based on their valuation, but that remain cheap and never see their prices recover. Beyond viewing percentile rank data from the stock notebook or in a custom data view, users may also integrate the data into their screening filters. To include any percentile rank field in a stock screen, you can choose these fields from the percent rank group within the screen editor's field picker. All such percentile rank fields are listed in alphabetical order and are part of the percent rank data category. When screening for low price earnings ratios stocks in Stock Investor, you can also establish absolute or relative filters. If you use absolute filters, such as screening for price earnings ratios of less than 10, you may need to adjust this number over time to reflect current market environment to either increase or lower the number of companies passing this filter. As the market as a whole rises and becomes more expensive, fewer companies will pass a low absolute PE screen such as this one. However, if you use the price earnings percentile rank field, you can establish a filter that will automatically adjust to market conditions. As an example screen, we begin by seeking out those companies whose current price earnings ratios are in the bottom quartile of the entire Stock Investor Pro database, meaning that the percent rank is less than or equal to 25%. In this example, the PE values that place companies in the bottom quartile will change over time. No matter what these values are, however, our screen will always isolate those companies whose PE ranks in the bottom 25% of the stock investor universe. As mentioned earlier, value screens are good at identifying neglected firms, but many of the firms you end up with deserve to be neglected. This is where secondary screens for financial strength play a helpful role to potentially identify stocks that are either poised for or already participating in an upturn. For this example screen then, we add secondary percent rank filters for earnings and free cash flow growth, requiring a three-year growth rate for each 
that is in the top quartile of the database, meaning that the percentile ranks are greater than or equal to 75%. In addition, we want companies with below average debt levels. So we add a condition that any passing companies must also have a long-term debt to equity ratio that ranks in the bottom half of the overall database, meaning that the percentile rank is less than or equal to 50%. As we mentioned, a value trap is a low price stock that remains low priced, either because the stock deserves the low price or because the market never catches on to the mispricing. Our final filter for our example attempts to avoid this pitfall by isolating those companies whose 13 week relative strength is in the top decile of the entire database, meaning that the percentile rank is greater than or equal to 90%. As of June 24, 2016, only three companies passed this collection of criteria for this example screen. Keep in mind, however, that the results of a quantitative stock screen such as the one we just created does not mark the end of your analysis. It instead gives you a more manageable list of companies on which to perform additional analysis and due diligence before deciding whether to add them to your investment portfolio. Percentile ranks are useful for evaluating stocks against the broad stock universe. When using percentile ranks in the stock screen, we are allowing the underlying cutoff values to rise and fall with market and economic conditions while still focusing on a specific segment, i.e. those companies whose PE ranks in the bottom 25% of the stock universe. This concludes this installment of the Stock Investor Pro video tutorial series. To view more of these tutorials to unlock the full value of your Stock Investor Pro subscription, visit the Stock Investor area of AAII.com and select the Video Tutorials link. The Stock Investor area of AAII.com also provides a wealth of user resources, including troubleshooting advice. If you have any questions about or problems with Stock Investor Pro, feel free to contact AAII Technical Support via email at techsupport at AAII. AII.com.